racism is as old as America itself. So it's not new, but I think it's been elevated to a point where regular society can't look away from it. I'm Elle Lett. I'm a trans feminine and black scholar. I like to leave with those things because I think they're pre important to what we're talking about. And so now it's become this almost unavoidable discourse and scientific publishing is mirroring that in that it's becoming the hot topic. And we're getting what I like to call equity tourists or people who are either in the most uh, empathic way are recently interested in the study of health equity because they feel impassioned by it and want to step you apply skills from other fields and attempt to apply those to health equity, or they want to capitalize on this hot topic and move their careers forward by doing work in a space that they don't have the qualifications or background to do it in. In 2018, I was shopping around this paper that essentially demonstrated that representation of Black and Latinx or Hispanic physicians relative to the, to the U.S. Census, meaning uh, comparing the proportion of physicians of those identities in the physician workforce to their proportion in the U.S. population had been declining and over in the last 20 years. And I shot this paper around to Nijam and JAMA and it got rejected all of those places. And ultimately I ended up publishing it at, at PLOS One, Public Library of Science, which is an excellent journal and it's to date my most cited publication. I think those of us with unique ideas um, are, will always benefit from having more ideas. But the reality is my highest side of publication will now be silenced by his. And so in publishing on this issue, you're extracting a huge career benefit, a JAMA publication from this Black issue, this Black pain in Black academia without redistributing that. And I argue that that's unethical because we need to stop pretending that um, science is objective and divorced from its political implications, and not just the political implication of the work itself, but how it's done and who does it. Diversity is about the group composition. An individual is not diverse. So me as a Black trans person, I'm not diverse. I'm a Black trans person. It didn't need to be a diverse byline. If it's about Black people, it could have been an all-Black byline. It, so it's about representation, and that's the issue. And that sloppiness, that inaccuracy, that misuse of terminology speaks to not knowing the field. It speaks to not, it speaks to being a tourist as opposed to a resident in this equity space. I don't believe in berating people over the head over and over when they make a mistake. But because uh, I believe that a mistake made in public has to be corrected in public and it has to be used to educate everyone. The quality work by people who do equity work as their primary scientific um, endeavor could be diluted by equity tourists who are trying to capitalize on this moment. We are not in a position to continue to publish or perish without consideration of who it impacts. We're not, not we, you don't work in isolation. The same structures that impact our society and our, how we relate outside of academic publish are recapitulated within it.